Today we have a lot of unpacking to do in my new room while I get my life back to normal after moving out of my childhood home. Hey girly, I'm girly Jess and I recently moved into this lovely home with my partner in crime. Aww. We are truly blessed and grateful for it. It's been a lot, but this week we're gonna get back on track. Before we dive into it, let's make some coffee to start my day. I'm gonna need some caffeine for this week on unpacking. Usually I don't make breakfast right away, but I recently got an online job. So I do some tasks while I'm drinking my coffee. But right now I don't have my desk, so I'm working on the kitchen dining room table. Okay, so next I was actually gonna make a smoothie bowl. What happened, I realized I only got fresh strawberries, not frozen. So I'm gonna have to freeze the strawberries and I'm gonna have a smoothie bowl another time. Cause I was thinking of putting the fresh strawberries on top of the smoothie bowl. And then any extra frozen strawberries I have, I can use for like a regular smoothie. I ended up making an egg with my leftover biscuit. So healthy, right? <laughs> so next we're gonna go to the filming room, but such a great way to start vlogging, right? I didn't realize till later, I must have pressed slow-mo by accident in the kitchen. It did record things in slow motion. And when it does that, there is no audio. So I'm just gonna have to voice over the next parts, of course. So this room is gonna be my office. YouTube studio and also my closet where I keep my clothes. Of course, I have so much stuff that it could just fit. It actually, it barely fits in this room. Let's be honest, but I wanted to have fun with this room as well. So in this room, I plan to share with you, which is why I'm making a video about it. And honestly, I'm, I wouldn't have time to make a video unless I'm recording what I'm doing. Plus all my clothes have been in boxes for like over two months. Long story, thought I was moving to another house before. And finally, we're gonna unpack them. But this closet, I gotta say it's much smaller than my last closet. But I picked this room because it is the bigger closet as well. But it has two doors. I think it looks so pretty when you can open it like that. And of course it has doors because my last closet did not, the house did not come with closet doors. So this is another plus too. If you watched videos from me before, you probably have seen me try hanger hacks, different kind of space saving hangers. And they have worked, but now I have to start over. For today, I decided not to do that because I felt like it was gonna take a lot of time. But trust me, I'm gonna need it because I have a lot of clothes. But for now, I just start using the velvet hangers my grandma got me. They take up the least amount of space. I started putting up my t-shirts and tank tops first. I just wow. realized I was recording in slow motion. And that means it didn't get any of the audio. But basically what I just did was I finally took out the, the curling iron, or not the curling iron. I finally took out the curling wand that I had my hair on. It was just never gonna dry because I put it on right after I took a shower last night and it's still damp. So it's not gonna be as curly as I wanted it to be. I'll probably have to just do it again tonight. But anyways, this is where I'm at. I have a lot more tank tops to put up. I'm running out of the velvet hangers. I think that was the last one. Well, I haven't went through the laundry basket. There might be a few more. I'll do that later. But that is really just the tank tops and short sleeves. Dresses. It's cute, but it's kind of like my hair color right now. 
Even when I have my blonde hair, I don't like wearing yellow, right? I really don't like wearing like the similar orange color. It's just too much. Either sell it or donate it. Cause it's still, pr you know, pretty cute. Or if I do dye my hair, which most likely I will eventually. Actually, the point of me having red hair was so I can go back brown, but I've been liking the red color. So I'm probably gonna stick with that for a little bit before I go brown. This ain't my hair color. This is more like a, a burgundy red, dark red. Perfect for fall, but I haven't worn it since last year because I did wear it a few times. And it's when I was rocking that boho bohemian style. Cute and fun to do, but I don't think I'm gonna go back to that style right now. At least with the hair color I have. I've been, I still been rocking like the cowgirl look, but not really the boho. too much talking in between because it's gonna take so long but I have to mention this my mom got me this and she did thrift it and because of that a boho style I was doing last year it's just I hate the color <laughs> now with my red hair it I don't think it looks great I don't know looking in the mirror because I put my big mirror right there it looks kind of cute I don't know it matches the flowers on it Okay, I might give it a chance and wear it one more time. So we're not gonna get rid of it just yet. I feel like this combination with my hair, the blue and the orange, looks so pretty. Like a mermaid maybe? What's blue and orange? I wore this before when I had blonde hair and I thought it looked pretty, but with my red hair, it looks pretty too. Might keep it for special occasion. <laughs> so I ran out of hangers, like like the basic hangers. And all I have left is these fat ones and there's no way I'm using that in the closet. But that was all actually all the dresses in the box. Now I know there's more dresses laying around either in the laundry or mixed with winter stuff. So the same day I did take a break from unpacking and another thing that it's important to me to put back in my routine is working out, yoga, pilates. I just want to be more active. My fitness goals is, you know, just so I can move around more and feel my best because, you know, it's not good for you to sit down for a long period of time. So I do that a lot and I've noticed like my back hurting but I feel like doing yoga stretches will help. So that's important to me to include that in my um, weekly routine. <laughs> and again, my audio was not working. And this time I didn't press slow motion. So I didn't realize it until, or at least for me now, like until I looked back at the footage, the audio wasn't working it, because my mic was dead. <laughs> I guess I charged it later and I'm, I don't know if I forgot, but Anyways, what I was saying, I believe, was I like how I have an open space now where I can work out and <laughs> move around and I actually can film it so it won't be so close up. Because when I have a small space, it's hard to record things from a distance. Which brings us to today's sponsor. I'm so excited. I love trying out Protein Roll products and also getting the products I love again. I had it this morning, of course. I've been having it ever since I got it because it's my favorite coffee to get. It's an instant slender coffee. It has like green tea in it and some other um, healthy ingredients, which I love. You know, when I work out, it does bring more energy when I do the, sh you know, Pilates and yoga. But what can help is getting supplements or fun drinks, fun, this is just fun and, of course, yummy, which is why I wanted to try their gourmet cylinder blend. Death by Chocolate is the flavor. It's like Etcher chocolate. I, you know, that caught my eye, made it sound more fancy, more chocolate. It's another meal replacement, but you can also just make a protein shake. It also says you can use it for home baking. I wonder if that means like you make um, brownies or anything that has like a chocolate flavor to it. I'm gonna have to look up recipes I can do with this because that sounds very fun and delicious. Mm -hmm. 
So already it looks darker than the regular Slender Blend chocolate one. And let me smell it. It definitely smells different, like maybe darker, like the like the color. Maybe it's like a darker chocolate. Test it out. As you know, I love chocolate, so let's see if it's as good as it looks. I don't think it tastes that much different. Maybe just a little bit, but I like it because I added the milk in it. Tastes like milk chocolate to me. Maybe it's a different kind of protein than the other Protein World products I'm gonna test out for the first time. Probably tomorrow morning and I ordered the day tea and they also gave me the night tea to try. I'll try it, it's just, I wanted to just try their tea because I, I don't have a good time with tea or a good experience, or I just don't like tea. It never works out for me. It doesn't taste good. So I was just gonna see if their tea is any good, but we got day tea and night tea. Obviously the day tea is gonna have caffeine and the night tea won't have caffeine. As green tea and peppermint, you bought me in li licorice root. Interesting. Uh, is it gonna taste like that? I have no idea. I never had like a tea that has peppermint in it. I try green tea. I try black tea. I wanna know if I'm gonna like protein roll tea. It's just not my cup of tea, if you know what I mean. Um, it's just, you know, it's just like a green tea flavor, but I taste the peppermint, definitely. The reason why I wanna drink it, cause it's healthy for you. More of a healthy, option to have caffeine but it is lower in caffeine i do want to mention about the tea i did give it uh more chances and i'm glad i did because um it, it wasn't that bad maybe after you get used to drinking it the taste is better and also their protein pancakes which i'm gonna make waffles with it smells good pretty good and it's protein future Jess here again I literally made it too thick I need to add more liquid to it so it you know would have been a full waffle <laughs> I'm learning okay we all learning okay just <laughs> look how thick I made it I really love their products if you've been watching me for a while you've probably seen me talk about them for over a year now and I still use their products especially now that I'm gonna get back into my fitness journey. So if you're interested, I do have a discount code. It's PWJessicaP for 40% off, which is a great deal if you're not gonna do their subscription every month. Another day, my desk came in the mail and I had to build it. I got one that is electric so I can stand and work and also sit and work. This specific desk did not come with wheels but you can add it on. So I ordered some and later they will be on in the video. The next day, I finally made my strawberry smoothie bowl, but not just any smoothie bowl. I do believe it's the best smoothie bowl I ever made. It was so good. It was the right amount of texture. I don't know what I did differently. Maybe because I had more ice to add or I added more yogurt, I don't know. But it does take a lot of ingredients to make and some time. So I don't do it often, but once in a while, it's a nice treat. So I did get more hangers. And as you can see, I pretty much maxed it out with the hangers, but I didn't put the clothes on it yet. But then I had another idea. Maybe I should just do the hanger hacks. Might as well, just to get it done. Doesn't have to be perfect but it's so I can have everything hung up because I don't know where I'm gonna hang up my skirts. So we're gonna have to make room in this closet for skirts and all my shirts. Starting out with some space saving hangers for my tank tops. Next, I put up my t-shirt with some space saving hangers. Next, I gotta hang up my long sleeve shirts, not including button ups or any heavy sweaters or even jackets because it's just not gonna fit in that closet. Now 
next hanger hack <laughs> remember I got is of uh, this I got from my grandma. I had the skirts on it last time on my clothes rack, but that clothes rack is way too big for this small room. So I'm probably gonna use it for something else in another room, but right now I'm gonna see if the skirts are gonna fit in this closet. <laughs> I found more dresses in the box with the skirts, so I gotta put those up too. So that's all the skirts I own that isn't denim. Cause I don't think denim skirts are gonna get wrinkled as much. But yeah, these are also wrinkled. I gotta steam them when I have time. For now, it's at least so I remember I have them. I can look at it. He was in the closet. <laughs> he was in the closet. So I did bring my old dresser in shelves with me. I'm glad I did because I need somewhere to store things. So my first idea was this. I said first because I do end up moving it again. Just to keep things simple, I'm actually just gonna put the same stuff in the same shelf that I had originally when I did my last um, closet organization video. And it just to make it simple for myself right now because I'm just trying to be able to see my clothes. <laughs> Look at Reese, he loves to dig in the bottom shelf. He's so silly. I decided to move my old dresser on the other side. Kept it the same with it being my makeup dresser because I don't have a vanity yet. So I quickly put my makeup on it and in it. Not organized like it was because I don't have that kind of time right now. But at least it's not in a box anymore. Then my other drawers, I didn't really know where else to put my bras. So I put all my bras in the other three drawers, the regular bras, bralettes, and sports bras. Oh yeah, do you remember my bookshelf cart? It's small and perfect for this small little gap between my desk and dresser. I'm gonna put things in it that I feel like I might grab or at least store it nicely. So the binder did not fit in that gap. So I'm gonna have to store that somewhere else. Okay, so I did get two dressers like months ago. Before I knew I was gonna move, it was gonna be an addition to my old room. Cause of course I need more dresses, more things to put my clothes in. So the first one is this tall, small one with four drawers. So I don't know where to put my workout clothes. I have a lot. So I thought they they might fit in these four drawers. So I put leggings in two of the bottom drawers because I have the most of those. And then the workout shorts can be in another. And then I could put my squirts slash workout skirts in it. And then I did have some room in it. So I thought I gotta put the workout dresses somewhere. So I put the workout dresses with the skirts. Surprisingly, it all fit. So I'm happy about that. I wasn't sure where to put the dresser yet. The drawers aren't connected, so I just have to remember not to pull it all the way out or it's gonna fall. Especially for my next idea, I have one more dresser I gotten and it's a bigger one. It's more wide. So originally I was thinking of putting my gadgets and electronics, paperwork, anything else I wanted in this room but I don't have like a desk or anything, you know, to put it in. But a lot of the stuff is kind of big and heavy and that's not good for this kind of dresser. So I had another crazy idea. I always think of things later. I did move the pants and you know, all the bottoms over to the dresser. The reason I didn't think of this idea first because I have a lot of bottoms and they're heavy. Um, I didn't think it was gonna work out, but I did end up fitting everything in there. 
I just have to be careful because it's a little heavy. It's it's not permanent. It's just for now until I can get something more, not sturdy, because I don't think it's meant for heavy stuff anyways. I just have a lot of clothes and I need to get something that's more bigger or I'm gonna have to get rid of some clothes, I should say. I believe it was, it was even later that day, I decided to put the purses in the closet on the bottom and the hats on the top because we were having a housewarming party and I wanted my room to look a little put together uh, so I can show my friend. But literally does she know I literally did this like almost all in a day. Maybe in two days I did it. But the idea works for now. I had no idea where to put my purses because that hanger I used before, the purse hanger, it's not gonna work now because I have no space anywhere to hang the purse. I don't know, maybe pull out that clothes rack. I don't know, we'll see. Finally, the last box in the room that I'm doing in this video is my electronics and the gadgets and all the extra stuff that's in it. What sucks is I have a huge printer and I had to put it on top because that's the only place to put it. So I'll just have to use like an extension cord if I want to use my printer. I don't use it that often, but if I needed a printer, I have it. Just got to get the ink for it. <laughs> All right, here's my room mostly unpacked. <laughs> There is one box left and that is a bed frame. It's gonna be for the guests that will sleep here, mainly my friend and her daughters. It's gonna be so cute and I can't wait to set it up but it's just gonna take a long time to do. It's not a simple bed frame. You'll have to wait and see. But I'm really excited for the future of my studio. This is a dream, I always wanted like a little um, room for my studio, right? But it's also kind of like a smaller version of my old room because I brought some of my old stuff, which my dresser, I know, it's, it's beat up. It's like, I had it since I was six, so I'm gonna have to repaint it. And I have other ideas as well. I probably wanna paint the room one day, but that's gonna take a lot of work. And I gotta pick a color I want to be committed to as well. So probably not anytime soon. If any of you girlies have any ideas for the room, let me know. Check out my old room makeover videos here. Subscribe if you wanna join the girlies club. I created that name for the girlies who support me on this channel. If you do like that name, let me know down below so I can continue to use it. Until next time.